Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. In this lesson, I'd like to talk about how can you uh, render your geometry geometries separately. Uh, you might like to render uh, objects separately for a few reasons. Like for example, there's too much geometry and uh, uh, it have it to render because there's not enough of uh, uh, PC power to uh, manage uh, all the geometry or maybe you'd like to have some um, additional flexibility during the composition or uh, or you might like to have um, Oh, every every geometry into separate layers. So uh, recently, I had the kind of uh, task to uh, have all the geometry uh, to be able to render separately. Uh, and uh, uh, in the past, I would I would probably go like create uh, the amount of renders and then just. Uh, assign each geometry to that render and then just run all those renders but uh, and this time I use the top network which uh, actually uh, gave me a lot of uh, ease to uh, to automate this type of task so um, here I have this uh, small setup I have three type of geometry and each geometry has animation to it okay if I um, so they simply rotate and um, here I have a few points uh, which I'd like to distribute my geometry onto so I have, uh, here I have a cycle for each point where um, um, having this copy to point by attaching uh, by connecting my switch node to it so um, to randomly assign uh, geometry to each point. I'm using the meta meta node metadata to uh, to randomly assign uh, my geometry. And here I have um, my spare input which you can add from here and I'm drag and drop uh, my metadata into here and then I'm using the detail expression where's minus one it's just uh, looking here and iteration attribute that is modules by three because I have only three geometries this way it distributes uh, geometry randomly um, to all those points okay and I'm also having an animation on all those um, geometries and here I'm using the time shift again using this metadata to uh, to shift the animation uh, by using this iteration value and multiplying it by some um, additional uh, value okay and next I'm assembling and packing this geometry and uh, the outcome is 25 points or 25 pack geometries okay then I'm adding a name here I have a name which uh, I'm promoting from points uh, from primitive to points okay and here I'm using the split node to uh, to split uh, the geometry uh, and I'm using this piece attribute which I've created in the top network okay so if I dive in so here I have my wedge if I do um, so I'm creating a 
peace attribute. And I know that I have 25 um, pieces of geometry or 25 points. So uh, I'm creating those 25 counts. 0, 24, that will be total 25. And I'm giving it a piece attribute. And I'm using this piece attribute to uh, separate, to uh, split the geometry. Okay, and if I start simply, so here you see uh, each point, um, each of this attribute has um, geometry assigned to it. Okay, this is a task. Um, so uh, what I found, I found that you can render this out in uh, two ways uh, at the moment. That's what I found. And the first one, you create um, um, OpenGL. In, in this case, I'm using OpenGL just to run things faster. And uh, this uh, render, OpenGL render node inside of the top net. Okay. Uh, and also, also uh, in the job parameters, I'm, um, I'm uh, adding this. I'm switching on this toggle to use the single. So it, so I'd like to. I, I wanted to go like linear way, like one, two, three, and so on. And um, here uh, in the ropnet. Um, in the OpenGL render. So here I have my frame range, five frames, all I want. And uh, also I'm checking all frames uh, in one batch. Um, uh, for some reason, my computer, uh, my, the software crashed. Uh, but after I added this all frame in one batch, it um, it started render just fine, okay. So and and yeah, and giving a pass to render. So here I have my pass, and this is my name. This is so this is the name of the render uh, re render rendered layer, okay. So here name is a sample, and here I'm using the points expression where I'm. Um, but which will give you a string uh, value. So I'd like to, uh, I'd like to use the name attribute. So points. Uh, here we have a pass to our uh, to our geometry. Okay. So here I'm using this now, and I'm simply copying and paste it into here. So this is our pass, and I'd like to use this piece attribute of each uh, of each selection, and we'd like to add its name attribute that we've created. Okay, and then this dollar f4 just to use the frame number, and that's it. In this way we can start. Uh, so here's my folder, and I can simply. If I just generate and if I start cooking, just see. And as you see, um, this is all that I have to do, and the rest is just to wait. And uh, here I have. The first layer. So while it renders, I'll just explain the second method uh, that you can also use. So here I have the rock fetch node that has a frame range, and uh, uh, this is the pass to our OpenGL, which is the which is the outside of this uh, uh, top net. Okay. And um, also, I'm using this all frame frames in one batch, okay. And I'm um, 
um, and I'm looking here to to that uh, OpenGL to the render node that I'd like to use okay and also I'm copying this uh, parameter and uh, here I have my roughnet so this is the OpenGL that I uh, that I selected um, in the rope fetch node okay so here we have again uh, we're using the pass um, they would like to render uh, all, all, our all our layers the naming this points expression and here I'm adding the channel so I would have the same frame range okay and um, here I'm using uh, the frame attribute uh, to uh, assign um, uh, frame number, the current frame number, okay? So if I dive here and uh, let me do a static, hope. Uh, Okay, so uh, if I just uh, middle mouse click, so here we have the frame that attribute. Okay, you see it changes from like if I select the one, so it has the five frames. Okay, first frame, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, so. So um, this way uh, it will render the frame count, okay? And yeah, so then you just assign your OpenGL that you created outside of the top net and uh, just also run this, uh, cook this node and it will also uh, render uh, all those uh, separate layers okay so uh, as you see it's not uh, uh, it's not that uh, complicated um, very easy to set up and uh, and you you'll cut a lot of manual work uh, just to uh, simplify and automate all your tasks. Uh, you may also uh, actually uh, uh, cache out your, all your geometries if needed, also uh, automate in uh, the same manner to, uh, for example, I had the kind of a um, a lot of a lot of geometry that I'd like to export as an limbic files, but uh, um, I had the problem uh, I, uh, of exporting that because uh, uh, it was consuming a lot of RAM. So uh, by using this method, I actually was able to uh, cache all the geometry that I had in my scene separately and uh, uh, yeah uh, I was I was able to uh, export all the geometry and also sometimes uh, client uh, or let's say uh, the the render artist might ask to uh, to separate the geometry if you're kind of exporting it as an, as an alembic so he could for example there was scene where, where I had a lot of boxes uh, which had different uh, textures assigned to them so um, this also helped to export all those boxes uh, separately and uh, yeah, it was quite easy and fast. So, uh, 
just to um, kind of finish this one, so we had our render finished. So what we can do, like Control A, multiple sequences and import. So we have all that, and I would like to have multiple compositions. If, for example, I'd like to color correct or do some changes to my layer. Okay, so here I have all of the layers and then just to add and here I have all the layers that um, that being collected together and now I have all that flexibility just to Just to um, how it was Shift A, I think yeah. I can hide layers that I don't like. I can um, say I can change individual colors and so on. So as you see, this um, this is a very uh, handy method to um, increase the flexibility, automate things, and uh, save some your valuable time. Okay, well, uh, I hope it was useful, and um, if you like the lesson, please subscribe, and uh, thank you very much. I'll see you in the future lessons. Good luck, and goodbye.